Welcome along folks to the Michael Muto Show. Hope you're all doing well out there whenever you're listening to this. Folks, here we are. It is the year 2024. Couple of days into it now. What do you think of it so far? Um, still kind of early into it. It's not really, can you make your mind up? It's kind of, uh, how people are back to school or back to work or whatever after a Christmas break. And, uh, yeah, you know, getting back into the swing of things again. But, yeah, how are you finding us first week of the new year? You know, hopefully it's good. Hopefully you're, you're having a nice time. Well, folks, I've got a bit of news. I get, well, I've got a few bits of news. Of course, I'm going to be talking about a lot of things in the next uh, few minutes anyway with you. But one thing, I have an update. So, last episode, I mentioned how I had not yet seen Oppenheimer. Folks, the other day, I sat down and I watched Oppenheimer. I loved it. Surprise, surprise. I thought it was brilliant. Everyone was right. It is absolutely brilliant. A friend of mine was a bit surprised. They thought I would have gone to see it in the cinema. I planned to go to see it in the cinema, but uh, with one thing or another, I just didn't have enough time to do it. And by the time I, you know, I was just, it was gone. It was gone. Got out of the cinema, and I was on renting. I so I rented it. I uh, rented it the other day, and it was brilliant. I actually wrote a review of it as well too, so that's up on the website if you want to check that out. But yes, I saw it. I thought it was absolutely amazing. I thought it was. I knew, but do you know what? Though I kind, do you know sometimes, right? Some films. There's a bit of hype around them, and you're like, oh, wow, 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 and you get kind of, you know, you're getting excited about seeing it, and then you see it, and you're like, um, uh, this isn't so great, this is only all right, you know, the hype may be overhyped or whatever like that, and, um, but this, no, 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 it was very, very good, it was very, very interesting, a very interesting portrayal of a very interesting man, very interesting character and history, very interesting, and by an interesting director, and of course, starring a very interesting person of uh, Kitty Murphy, who's an amazing actor. But then I knew it was going to be amazing, because Kitty Murphy's always amazing. He's a brilliant actor. And, uh, you know, you knew you are going to get something special with uh, Christopher Nolan. And everyone else in the cast was amazing, absolutely brilliant. Everyone was outstanding in the film, you know. I know a lot of, there was a lot of talk about when the film came out, and there was all these cameos and, uh, you know other actors and stuff like that, like big names in the film, and you know, and it was like nearly everyone was in it. If it, they weren't in Barbie, they were in Oppenheimer, it seemed. But just like in Barbie, it didn't really take away from the film. You're like, oh, wow, there's that famous person. You're like, okay, is this person from history? This is interesting. And what was their relationship with uh, J. Robert Oppenheimer? You know, it was a really fascinating portrayal, I thought, and a really interesting, uh, you know, look into the life of this complex individual. But I've said all this already. I've said all this already in the review. So you want to check it out. That's what I think about the film Oppenheimer. It's in the review and there's a link in the description of this very podcast. Now, the other thing I want to talk about in this podcast is projects. Yeah, projects I've got that I'm thinking of doing. Like hobbies, really, that I want to do over the year. Things that I will find enjoyable and things I want to make you know what I mean so one thing I want to do is I want to paint again I painted last year started painting again last year and I fell in love with it all over again because I love painting and last year it seemed to be the, the majority of it was robots and if it wasn't robots it was nature scenes and things like that and I do love it I think I'm going to paint more nature scenes I think I'm going to have more nature scenes. And I think if I have anything else added to it, it might be some more of a fantasy kind of element to it. Maybe there'll be some robots in there as well too. I like to mixing, I like mixing sci-fi and fantasy and stuff like that. So that'll be fun. I love painting, so it's going to have a lot of fun. I definitely am going to focus more on nature painting. That's something I'm going to work on more, I think, this year. I just love painting a nature scene. It's a nice nature scene. Go out... Maybe take a picture or something and use that as inspiration and build up on top of that then again, you know. So that's something I'd like to do more of is uh, more paintings this year. And my draw more. You might have seen I was drawing some bits and pieces there before Christmas. Post them to the website and to my socials. And yeah, I love drawing as well too, of course. 
And yeah, so just little things like that. Now I have something else that I was thinking about. I made a post about this the other day. And that is that something I'd like to do more of in the next coming months is making more audio type of things, um, soundscapes, maybe more ambient kind of music. I put up a piece the other day. And I'll probably leave a link in the description as well too. But uh, yeah, that's something I'd like to do more of. Um, make kind of soundscapes and things like that. And I have an idea for a project I want to do. But I'm not going to say too much more about that right now. But I wanted to kind of... Just one of those things where I want to say I'm doing it. Uh, like the painting and things like that. So that people can kind of say, Hey, why don't you do stuff like this? And not because I feel I need to make something... It's more the fact that I'm like, oh yeah, that's a fun project I want to work on. And, you know, I want to do more things like that to, just for fun. You know, for the sake of it, for the fun of it and for the creative uh, process of it. You know, I love uh, to work on audio and things like that. And, of course, I mean, obviously, I do because I'm making a podcast right now as I'm recording this. But you're listening to it, it's already made, but I'm making it right now as I record it. But, um, and of course, the radio and all kinds of stuff like that. And I just love the out of audio and things which is strange because then i do painting so it doesn't maybe i could compare combine the two and you can look at a painting and listen to audio at the same time but yeah so that's something i'm going to work on um so painting drawing and some of the kind of audio kind of stuff i'm going to do more of in the next coming months and yeah as i say if i do painting or drawing or whatever i'll share it either on the website or on social media and stuff like that and yeah so keep keep following you'll see it all and all that kind of thing the other thing i noticed in the last 12 months was that i rediscovered my love of writing and that was definitely because of the website and writing little bits and pieces now and then and uh making little posts and stuff and i would just it was funny, I was looking back at a post from this time last year. It was like the it was actually the last post I made of twenty twenty two. And it's so funny because it's barely even a paragraph. And I was writing uh my last post twenty twenty three and I was like, Oh, I should write it the same way I wrote the last one. So I went back and I looked and I was like, What? How could I have written so little? Like that's not who I am now at all, you know? So there I was like, oh, I guess I really, it was It was kind of like, opened my eyes a bit. And I was like, oh, hey, I guess I really rediscovered how much I love writing. And do you know what, actually? It's not just the writing, and I enjoy writing longer pieces and things like that. But the other thing I found I loved is typing. <laughs> I love, it's all part of it. The typing and the coming up with it and having an idea and working on it and rethinking it as you go and and adding to it and taking it away and whatever and editing it as you go along and then maybe you you write it out again and you're like okay yeah and read it again you're like, no actually i might take that or move this around here whatever the whole process i love i love 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 is just writing and you know what it is honestly and again the typing thing is going back to mavis beacon and getting my fingers in the right positions on the keyboard and working from there and remembering oh yeah this is typing and the fact that right now i'm there miming typing even though i have a keyboard in front of me <laughs> and also you can't see me but yeah it's uh i love the whole process of it and actually writing by the way was it last episode i think yeah i was talking about how i had written a bit for the website when i was talking about the period between Christmas and New Year's and then I went on a huge tangent about the TV show The Den and do you know who read it and do you know who gave me feedback on it the, the two guys the guys behind Zig and Zag they read it Double Z Creative they read it and uh, they replied on Blue Sky and they said how much they liked this and how much they were like you know The Den was such a, a magical thing you know and you know how much they put into it and things like that and it really you know it was just lovely to for them to be able to read that one and also for me to hear that they enjoyed what i wrote you know that was nice too and they're just great guys they're great creative people and just uh wonderful stuff that they do all the time anyway but the den really was this magical thing you know 
and yeah, they they that was that was really cool. So that was an update on that as well too. Anyway, about uh, a little bit I wrote that the uh, two guys actually read it and liked. It. <laughs> so that was cool. Now speaking of websites and writing, uh, I joined the social media site Treads in the space of time between when I spoke to you last. I yeah, so they that opened up for people here in the European Union. And a lot of people joined, checked it out, and <laughs> I saw it. I went, okay, this is cool, all right, okay. Yeah, it's kind of nifty, you know, some people from Instagram can follow you. This is kind of cool, you know, it's, I like the basic idea of it. The idea of it is kind of cool, and I like the way that, hopefully, anyway, eventually, that you'll be able to follow people on Mastodon, and if my own website actually you can follow, hopefully, soon, eventually, if they connect up to the quote-unquote Fediverse where uh, a lot of websites are connected up to and work on ActivityPub, I think. And so my website section there, you can actually follow my website on Mastodon as well too, actually. It's at michaelmuser.com, at michaelmuser.com. Big long username, two ats in the middle of it. So you put in at michaelmuser.com twice. And that's how you can follow me on Mastodon at the very least anyway. And hopefully soon treads. But I've since deactivated my account. <laughs> There was like a whole for you section that was up by default and stuff. And I was like, I don't know. I don't like this at all. Uh, this this isn't for me at all. So I just deactivated my account. And, but now I guess hopefully soon anyway, folks over on Treads, you can follow my Mastodon account. Or if you like, you can follow the website as I say. So anyway, hopefully that will be sorted out soon. I heard, um, wasn't, it, wasn't Tumblr supposed to do the same thing where they were going to be connected up or something? And I don't know. I didn't really hear much more about that in the end. I like the idea of it. I, I like the concept of it. The idea of, like, you know, because some people just didn't really gel too well with Mastodon. So they kind of left or whatever. And that's fine. You know, I mean, I, I still use Mastodon. If people don't, that's fine. It's, it's no, I see some people online having weird arguments about things like that. It's like, oh, you're on this website and I'm on this website or whatever. I'm like, I don't really care. You know what I mean? These are just websites at the end of the day. Like, who cares? You like one better than the other one. That's cool. That's fine. Something, some everything isn't for everyone. You know what I mean? But it'd be cool if like your friend is on Mastodon and you're on Threads and you can follow each other. Like that's really cool. I think that's a brilliant idea. So I'd like to see more of that kind of thing going forward in this you know, experiment that is the internet. You know what I mean? Actually, speaking of the internet, I saw and I put a link to it in the latest uh, Michael Muto shoutouts. Which, by the way, I brought the Mike Muto shoutouts back. And uh, now they don't have numbers. Now it's just the date. Because, as I say in the in the post, I kept forgetting the numbers. I was like, wait, what number is this again now? So I just said, I'll just put the date that it goes out now. So that's it. But uh, I put a link to an interview back in the 80s, I think. I really know. It would have been the early 90s, sorry. Where uh, Tim Berners-Lee is being interviewed about the internet and about the potential divisiveness that could happen on the internet and has seemed to happen. There is divisiveness, of course, but is that because the internet or is that just... There's always been divisiveness, you know what I mean? If you look back in history, like, yeah, people seem pretty divided back then, you know? This doesn't seem like they're more divided now. People go, oh, people are so divided these days. I'm like, are they? Or is it just you're seeing their opinions more, you know, because it's written down. You're like, hey, you took the time to write that, huh? Actually, that's something. So, going back to me writing and things like that, that's something I found is that I'm less inclined to write a longer piece. I wonder does everyone else feel the same way? If you ever went back to blogs and stuff like that, does anyone else feel like this when... You sit down to write, like say, let's say you had a bad day and something, something just annoyed you. Someone just rubbed you up the wrong. You're like, you won't believe what this person did, you know. And but by the time you get to this, like you're getting to the end of the first paragraph, what you're writing, you kind of stop and you kind of go. With me anyway, I go, um, yeah, I don't really care that much to be honest, <laughs> you know. It's it's just like that's one of the nicer things about writing a longer piece because. Right, I'm going to write a big piece about this. And then you're like, actually, I don't care that much. You know, what would be a nice kind of joke, quick little post on a different social media site on a blog? You're not really going to take the time. It's going to have to be something pretty, pretty big 
to make you invest your time in if you're that annoyed about it you know what I mean myself anyway differently if I'm really happy about something and I'm like hey this is really cool I can't wait to share share this, my thoughts on this like a good film or something you know I think that's maybe why I haven't really posted a review of a film I didn't like you know that's not to say I never would but it's just I seem to be I'm like oh I want to share my thoughts on this film that I really liked and I hope other people check it out too do you know what I mean but then again you know I've enjoyed people's negative reviews of art that I really enjoyed you know the the review itself was a great entertaining piece as well too you know so does really matter you know, if someone doesn't like something that I like, doesn't mean this takes anything away from me. I'm like, oh, here's why they didn't like it. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> no, if it's a good, this is trash, this is all trash, it's trash, trash, trash. It's like, I'm not really that into that, you know. Uh, that's not really my cup of tea, someone just bashing a thing for the sake of it, uh, you know. But if someone like is giving it a fair crack, and it's like, right, well, I watched this in good faith, and here are my issues with it. You know, then that's that's fine. You know, that's grand. I enjoy those kinds of things. I think people get too wound up sometimes about little things like that. Like, you know, when it's who cares? <laughs> you know, someone's opinion is different to yours. Oh goodness gracious! You know, someone didn't like a piece of art that you liked. You know, that's life. That's just like I was saying earlier on about social media. It's like some some everything isn't for everybody. You know what I mean? So it's, it's okay to not like certain things. Oh yeah, so here's the other thing I want to talk about. Sewing. Yeah. I, I've i started sewing on patches onto my denim jacket. I've got a denim jacket and I've got some patches sewn on. I've got a Strontium Dogs SD patch from, of course, a 2008 And I've got a Danny DeVito patch. I've got a Metallica patch, and I've got an Ixon patch, although I didn't sew on the Ixon patch. My sister helped me with that, actually, uh, I think around last year. And so I've sewn on three of the patches now, and i got to say, I'm happy with the results. Is it perfect? No. There's always room for improvement, but I'm very happy with them. And uh, I'm actually going to make the picture of this very podcast uh, a picture of the patches that I've sewn on. So that's the, yeah. So you're going to be able to see it in the description or that. Yeah, I'm going to link in the description too. I'll put in a link to the patches I've shown on social media. Actually, I posted them on the website too, but I saw them on. You might have seen them already, but if you didn't, there you go. That's something I got to start doing. It's a sewing. <laughs> I didn't see that coming, but oh, I just, I don't know what possessed me. I saw a patch and I was like, oh gosh, I'd like to get a patch. I got one of this uh, Strontium Dogs patch. So I got that, sewed that on myself. And I was very happy with it. Actually, folks, if you've got any recommendations, I'd love to hear about them. Uh, any places you recommend that sell cool patches, do leave a link in the contact page on my website. So go there and uh, leave a link to a cool shop or whatever, you know. Yeah, I'd love to hear, I'd love to see them. That's really cool. Or if you do it yourself, if you've got some cool patches on your own jacket, uh, link me to your posts on social media. I'd like to see those too. Here's another thing I want to do now this year. And that is meet up with more people. Yes, there's some people I've known, little pals of mine, and I've been saying a phrase like, oh, you know, it'd be cool if we met up someday or whatever, and they've invited me or whatever. This year, it's actually happening. This year, I'm going to find time, and I'm actually going to meet up with some folks, right? It is actually happening this year, definitely. It is definitely happening. Because some people that I know, they don't even live that far away. That's the real sick nerve. I'm like, why have I not made up with that person? That is, you know, just busy, busy. But then it's like, well, just find the time. Find the time to meet up with these lovely people. You know, that's what I got to do. That's what I got to do now this year, you know? Anyway, so that's something I got to do is meet up with some lovely folks. I might, you know what? I might uh, visit some places I mean to visit as well too, I'm hopefully. You know, it's always easier said than done, isn't it? Because you think, oh, I'd like to visit this place and that place and the other place. And then, you know, life gets in the way and stuff like that. But I'm going to try and find it. I'm definitely not going to meet up with some friends. This is what I'm going to definitely do this year and eight. Definitely. That is a fact. That is a fact. So we're friends out there. We're meeting up this year, right? Okay. There we go. Anyway. Now, folks, 
as I head towards the end of another podcast, I have something I want to say to you actually, right? And that is, if you are a creative person out there listening to this, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to go over to michaelmuta.com, go over to the contact page, and link me your stuff. I want to see what listeners of this show are working on. I'd like to see that. I want to see what you're working on. I want to see what creative things you're out there doing, artists, musicians, uh, whatever it is. I want to see it. I'd like to see what you're up to. But now, maybe you're out there and you're thinking, gosh, I don't paint or do anything like that, Michael. <laughs> gosh, I'd like to send Michael what I'm working on, but not working on anything. But goodness knows I've always wanted to try. Well, do it. This is your year now. This is it. These are your little uh, commands. I'm commanding you to do it. You go out there and you, you give it a go. Okay, if you want to try art, you want to make something, you give it a go. You know? It's like, yeah, whatever you need to do. Right? You, I hear people say to me, they go, Oh, I can't even draw a stick figure. Well, draw a stick figure. Draw a stick figure. Start drawing. Just do little bits like that. If you want to do it, if that's something you want to do, then give it a go. Give it an actual go. You know? And you might go, oh, I'm not very good. Of course you're, you're... Nobody is good straight away. Nobody is good at anything straight away. You know? Like, I don't think I'm very good at painting or anything like that. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not... Would never, you know... People, I'm, you know? But I, I like it. I enjoy it. It brings me joy to... To paint and to draw and to write and you know maybe make some soundscapes or whatever it brings me joy and happiness to do all those things. So if you ever wanted to try art, making anything, whatever it is, being creative, you give it a go. Okay, you give it your best shot, right? And then uh, send it to me because I'd like to see what you're up to. <laughs> I like seeing creatives of I love art. Of all kinds of visual and sound and everything. Whatever it is. Love to hear about it. Anyway, there we go. That's another episode. Folks, I hope you have a great 2024. I'll be back with another episode next week. Folks, have a great 2024. Have a great time. Until I speak to you again, this is Michael Musa, your podcast pal. See you next time, folks.